you already know that you can send data to the server using the get method, the get HTTP method. You can also send data to the server using the post HTTP method. I'm going to take a look at that now. This is options3.html, and as you see here, it works much like the previous examples that work with XML. You can select a color scheme, red, green, and blue, and the second color scheme, black, white, and orange as well. The only difference here is that we're going to be interacting with a single PHP file, options3.php, and we're going to be sending the data, in other words, which scheme is selected by the user to the PHP file using post instead of get. That's the big difference here. Let's take a look at how this works. You, and the user wants to use color scheme one, you call a JavaScript function called getOptions and pass a value of one. If the user wants to use the color scheme two, you call getOptions with a value of two, as you see here. Okay, so now we're going to be passing the value of one or two to the server side script options3.php using the post HTTP method as opposed to the get HTTP method. So here's how that works. You set the URL, you set a value named URL, variable named URL to options3.php and you use the open method of the XML HTTP request object. You set the method, the HTTP method to use to post instead of get. Because we're going to be setting data to the server using the post method as opposed to the get method and then also specify the URL as before as when you used get but this time we're going to be using post next you have to set a request header you set the content type request header of the data you're sending to the server to application slash x dash www dash form dash URL encoded this says that the data you're going to be sending is URL encoded and will be included inside the request header. So this is different from the get method, the get HTTP method, where you just append the data you want to send to the server at, at the end of the URL after a question mark, and it's available for everybody to see. This data you send using the post method is a lot more secure because it's sent inside a request header, which is not evident to the casual observer. So this is a much more secure way of interacting with the server. Your data is not visible, by default not visible to casual observers, as it is if you use the get method. And then you would attach a function, a callback function to the on ready state change property of the XML HTTP request object as before as you did with the get method, and this code is just the same. The only other change is in the send method. Instead of sending a value of null, which you did with the get HTTP method. You now send URL encoded data here in the send method. Instead of appending it to the end of the URL, you use your URL encoded data, you specify your URL encoded data in the send method of the XML HTTP request object when you work with the HTTP post method. Here in this case we're assigning the, the parameter named scheme, the value of scheme which was specified in the pass to us in the get options function. So if for example the user says use color scheme one, get options is called with a value of one. That's passed to you up here. And then scheme equals one is passed to the server, to the server side script. So that's how it works with post. You, post is a much more secure way of sending data to the server. You say open you use the HTTP method post, specify the URL to which you want to post data, you use the set request header method of the XML HTTP request object, you set the content type header to this value, and then you send your URL encoded data to the server side script using the send method like this. Instead of sending null, which you do with the get HTTP method, you send your URL encoded data to the server like that, and those are the only differences between get and post as far as the JavaScript is concerned. As far as the PHP script on the server is concerned, there's a little difference. You have to use the post array, the dollar sign underscore post array as opposed to the dollar sign underscore get array. So that's really the only difference on the server. From a PHP point of view, you use dollar underscore post as opposed to dollar underscore get. As you can see, the results are good. You can select the color schemes very nicely here. 
This passes the data to the server which scheme you want to use automatically using the post HTTP method as opposed to the get method and that data is encoded inside a request header so it's much more secure than using the get HTTP method to interact with the server. So very nice.